opportunity to never forget those that came from our neighborhoods, from our families, from Marine Park and Garrison Beach, and the surrounding communities. And Marine Park has always stood tall and continues to stand tall. And I say thank you very, very much. We're going to call up the color guard to open up the event, and a color guard is the New York City Recruitment Battalion. Color guard. Ladies and gentlemen, for the national anthem, we have Tella Lee Cannon. Oh, Freezing. so you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly stream and the rocket's red glare and the bombs bursting in air gave proof the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the The invocation will be done by Monsignor Delendig. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together this evening, taking time from our lives, taking time from our, our usual routines. And we come together today remember on this ninth anniversary of the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center, in the Pentagon, and in Shanksville. Heavenly Father, we come together to remember those who have died. Remember those who worked in the Twin Towers. Remember those who were first responders who came to save the lives of those who were in those buildings. We know they are with you, and we know that they are at peace. We ask you to reach out your healing hands to their families and friends and to all in the city and this country who have been affected by the terrorist attacks. We ask you, too, to reach out your healing hands to all of us so we, too, may be at peace. Remember, Lord, to those who are serving our country today, especially in Iraq and Afghanistan. Keep them safe and lead them home to their families one day soon. As always, we ask this as your loving children. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Monsignor. Boy Scout Troop 396 will do the Pledge of Allegiance.
Right turn, walk. Forward, walk. Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to the color guard, the New York City Recruiting Battalion. A round of applause for our national anthem, Taylor Lee Tanner, with a great voice and a great job. I see you, John DeLendick, for his uh, invocation, and you'll be hearing more from him shortly. And of course, I am joined uh, by our Boy Scouts here who have done a great job in the Pledge of Allegiance. Give them a round of applause. And I'm joined on a dais by our District Attorney, Charlie Hines. Please be seated. We got a number of people out here, and I'd like to start, and I've seen them lined up all around the perimeter. Um, and I'd like to start with that group all the way back there with the American flag, and that's uh, Rolling Thunder. Give it up for Rolling Thunder, ladies and gentlemen. They will escort me back to Bay Ridge shortly, that group of motorcycles. I hope we get there without getting pulled over. But uh, thank you. I want to thank Millennium, as usual, for doing an outstanding job with the music and the, uh, the interludes here, and I want to say thank you very, very much. The uh, humble sweet shop for the balloons that we'll be passing out later and letting go into the air, uh, give them a round of applause for their... Our Garrison Beach volleys are out there. John, thank you very much for being here, Garrison Beach. Over here on my right, your left, is the Auxiliary Police Department, and they've done an outstanding job, and they line the perimeter, and I want to thank them very, very much for being here today. I want to thank our Lieutenant and the 6th Street Precinct also for being here today. Thank you very much, Lou. The New York City Parks Department for allowing us to do this here today. Give them a round of applause. They're here in the crowd. Our Flatlands uh, Marine, or uh, Flatlands Ambulance are here today. Give them a round of applause and thank you very much, as well as the Bali Ambulances. And we have the Marine Park Civic, which is very, very important to us here in this community to do an outstanding job each and every year for many, many years. Carmine Carroll has got to be proud of this great organization as he looks down from heaven with all those that we lost in 9-11. Thank you, Marine Park, for the great work you do. Greg, thank you very much. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Give them a round of applause. They did an outstanding job, and they do. The American Legion Cummings Post is out here as well. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, right over here to my left. There are a number of military soldiers here around, spread throughout the audience. Um, I don't want, I see a captain over here, and I want to say thank you very much, Captain, for being here. Uh, give the captain uh, including here today, give them a round of applause for the military men and women that are throughout our audience, our Coast Guard, our Marines, our Navy, uh, our Army. And I can never forget the Air Force. There are a number of people, Sean Flynn, Michael Davitt, Tom Donovan, Brian Smith, Jude Howie, and Ed Rasmussen, all military soldiers who have returned home this past several weeks from Afghanistan and from Iraq. And they are around here today. Give them a round of applause. This is what it's all about. It's about our community coming together, remembering, and never forgetting. I see I'm also joined by Assemblyman, come on up here, Alan Mizell. Thank you, Alan. We're also represented by Risa 
Um, Elson um, Lou Fidler could not join us here today, and his representative is here. And uh, thank you for being here as well. The groups that we have here today and the families and the friends of those that we've lost, those that suffered, those that went down and worked so hard and so diligently over the years. It's like if you watch that TV today, regardless if you were in a home or in a gym or at a church and talking about it, I'm sure that many here in this crowd broke to tears. Because that's how it affected these communities. That's how it affected our families. And you being here today gives those families the ability to heal. And it gives our communities the ability to grow. So I want to thank each and every one of you again for this support tonight. Tonight, the ninth anniversary of the attacks of September 11, 2001, we gather under the New York sky so that never, so that never forget this annual memorial has become a solemn tradition in our community, a place where we can turn for support, for hope, and for comfort. Tonight, as we are each year, we are with each other so that each and every victim of the attacks of September 11th is remembered, so that their sacrifice in the names of democracy and the name of the United States of America are never, ever forgotten. All of us here tonight experience September 11th in his or her own way. We were not speculative onlookers who experienced 9-11 through the news. We didn't first learn of the individuals who spent their final moments in their towers through television shows. To us, September 11th is personal. We were there, we were at ground zero. Wherever we were, we heard it, <coughs> saw it, or learned about it, but we remember it very, very clearly. September 11th isn't just a day of remembrance for us. Today, for all of us, what happened on September 11th is a day we lived to, through. It is a day when we fill with fear beyond belief. Grief and sorrow took over us. So we need to be here today, this very night, together, under the American flags, the flags of this great nation, and in this great world, so that we can reaffirm our commitment to the promises that we made nine years ago, and never forget and never let others forget. Every day another page is written about how we survived and how we are progressing. As we see floor after floor rising from the ashes at ground zero, a new future is at hand. But it is certain that the images, sounds, and emotions from that day will still strong within us. Time thus far has not been able to separate us from this pain. Just as we were able to see the towers of light in lower Manhattan tonight, we saw the ash and smell that smoke drifting over our neighborhoods, literally into our own backyards and homes.